What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also to ask me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks, everybody, for supporting. This video is entitled The Hypocritical Nihilist. A nihilist is a, let me get it, a person who, a person that believes that life is meaningless and uh shit life is meaningless and rejects religions re rejects religious religions and moral practices or principles not necessarily a, like in between a hedonist and anarchist you know nothing really matters life is the, nothing really matters um there are no morals there are no rules there are no principles there is no god you know type of thing uh, but here's the problem in America. People have this belief about being a nihilist, but it's hypocritical. See, if life is meaningless, but you're trying to prove to other people that life is meaningless, then you basically have found a meaning in life to prove that it's meaningless to everybody else. So this that's your mission, basically. So you made it your mission to basically give people a void or, or, or to give people despair. Like, you see, life is really meaningless. Now, you won't say life is meaningless, and since it doesn't mean anything to you, you won't take your own. But... You want to create so much dysfunction to show people all of the negative parts of life that's supposedly, you know, so they, they can indulge in meaninglessness. Because since it's meaningless, religion doesn't matter. Morals don't matter. But here's the problem with that. If you notice... People who say there are no rules sure know how to bring up those rules when somebody else decides to play the same game that there are no rules with them. See, as BGS would talk about the Joker and Batman, I think Angry Man talked about that too from time to time. The Joker is kind of a nihilist, you know. I, I just want to create enough chaos to show y'all that y'all morals and principles aren't really, y'all not really steadfast. But the Joker was different. Whatever he could do to you, he was just as happy if you did it to him. Because that's it proves his point. But see... <clears throat> That's a character. Regular people are not like that. They want to have no morals with you. But they want you to uphold the standard of morality with them. See, in this country of that has a foundation in debauchery, Everything is okay if it made money. It was no rules. You know, one of the one of the politicians just recently said nothing was really wrong with slavery. It was a business de decision. But that same person, if his children, if him and his children were enslaved. Because this country's in a debt that people like him created. And they ripped their families apart and beat them to within an inch of their life. Make them work for hours for free to pay off this debt. All of a sudden, he would say that's immoral. He wouldn't, you know, all of a sudden, uh, it's, it, wasn't, it wouldn't, that business decision wouldn't make as much. Uh, uh, moral sense anymore 
because now he's on the other end of that business decision. Whatever. Now, it's the same thing with people who are hedonists. A hedonist is basically a person who's very self-indulgent and, you know, they, they want to pleasure themselves. They're, they're, their self-indulgence and pleasure is their primary objective. But you would think that, oh, they want to be around a bunch of hedonists like themselves because they can have such a great time. But here's the problem. A hedonist wants to be self-indulgent in all of the things that other people have put into existence and built. They don't want to maintain, they don't want to build the things that, that they're indulging in. They don't want to maintain the things that they're indulging in. They don't want to create the things that they're pleasuring themselves with. They don't want to maintain the things that they're pleasuring themselves with. They want everybody else to do it so they could just reap the benefits why everybody else puts in the work. See, you know, all of a sudden, it's not cool if they have to put in the work so somebody else can be a hedonist. It's not, it's not how it's supposed to be. This is why I say, you know, a hypocritical nihilist. Because... It's kind of like, since there are no rules in your mind, there should be no rules all the time. But in this country, people pick and choose when there are no rules any, anymore. They're, not, they're a part-time nihilist. You know, they're a law-abiding citizen who's a victim to lawlessness as a response to them being on the receiving end of nihilism when they put out nihilism. The, the classic quote of, it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. See, the hunter has no morals. There are no rules of engagement. The rabbit does not know that it's being hunted by a guy with a gun. But uh, hypothetically speaking, if the rabbit just gets the upper hand and oh, you tried to kill me. I got this rifle now. All of a sudden, this meaning, this rabbit's meaningless life that can be taken, taken, and don't worry about religion. He's just food. Don't worry about, you know, morals. It's just food. But now when the rabbit has the gun, let's sit at the table and discuss this like civilized individuals, Monsieur Bugs Bunny. You don't want to take my life, do you? You don't even eat people. I mean, where's your heart? Do you think Rabbit God would actually be okay with you shooting dear old me? Yeah, Rabbit God would be all right with that. Now, the reason I say that is because of this. They say the same thing in business, to be cutthroat. But when you cutthroat back, that's not right. They say the same thing about people who want to play dirty. There are no rules. But when you play dirty back, all of a sudden you're crying. And I, sp I spoke of the show uh, Bad Blood on Netflix. Uh, oh, kind of gangster show. When one of the lead characters had a breakdown with one of the other lead characters. Like, he killed my dad and they killed my son. And the other lead character looked at him like, everybody you killed was somebody's dad and somebody's son. Now why, all of a sudden, when it's yours, now it's important to you? This is what I mean about a hypocritical 
nihilists, which a lot of us are. If you want to live by the, the mode that there are no rules and you could just do whatever. Okay, just be prepared for, you know, getting done whatever too. You getting done whatever too. Yeah, there you go. Like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.